Hey guys, welcome to this very different video, and yes, it is me, Relentless. Uh, I'm doing some domination today, and I joined alongside, uh, obviously, Jen Jen, uh, which I will put a link in the description for you guys to go check out her channel. Uh, she's part of the Elite Irish Clan, which are a really good bunch of people. I got a chance to play a few games with them, and we really did dominate in this game. Um, I do a nice little 47 to 16 in this game, and it's pretty awesome. I am using the Type 25 customized uh, with a uh, normal red dot scope and also it's got the quick uh, quick handle on it I should get my facts right straight here guys but that's what's on there um, it's a really beast gun when it is uh, actually customized perfectly and I do go ahead and we, well, obviously we do go ahead and win this game obviously it's why I'm bringing it to you it was pretty awesome I got a lot more defending done than uh, actually running around and uh, it's slightly different the way I've played because uh, I'm usually mostly kind of going straight for the kills but here I was trying to defend B uh, keep uh, keep an eye on B a lot more and help my team out especially get uh, by bringing in the UAVs and also bringing in uh, you know using my hunter killer drone and also bringing in the basically the guardian now the guardian is something I have been saying I really love using and I I do recommend everybody to get uh, use this as one of their score streaks if they will um, you know if you plant, place it in the right spot uh, especially in domination it's gonna be just so more effective because uh, you're gonna see exactly how the team are moving around and exactly how uh, you know it's gonna be affect uh, how it will affect you in the game and especially by using this is such a great way to play um, I do rack up quite a lot of points in this and I was pretty happy with the way I played um, you know, I got a few a few good kills. With uh, actually got a triple kill with a hunter killer drone, which was pretty awesome, and I, I really did like using that as well. That is really good. Um, obviously, I tried to kind of customize my score streaks uh, to the way I really want to play because sometimes I like to play a little bit more defensive and supportive. That's when the UAV comes in and the guardian comes in because I am gathering points for helping out my team and defending mainly. And then the hunter killer drone is just something for me to rack up a few extra points for myself and obviously add some more kills to my uh, streak. I do. Keep get quite a few UAVs and quite a few of the Guardians and stuff in this and uh, you guys will see that it was literally pretty beast the way I was playing um, th this was the first game that I did play with those guys and uh, I, I want to thank them for obviously first allowing me to play the game uh, it was, well, not really play the game but like join them um, the Guardian that I just placed there was like a big mistake I didn't even mean to place that uh, it was pretty random but you know, it it did its job for a while. Uh, you're gonna see a triple kill bust up right in a uh, probably in a sec, maybe a little later on, or maybe it's my next uh, basically uh, hunter killer drone. I can't exactly remember, but like I said, guys, I was playing pretty beast and I was really happy with the way I performed in this game. Um, you know, especially when you got a good team on Call of Duty, you need to know how everyone plays. Uh, you need to know where everyone's moving around, and that's gonna actually affect the way you play as a player. And uh, actually, get, uh, the way you play, and you can play supportively. And a lot of people, obviously, with the guys here, a lot of them more going for the caps. And I, I kind of, you know, I support them for doing that. I was more on the defensive side, like I said, trying to defend. I did push up a little bit. I tried to flank a lot, and that's something that you guys really see with me, especially when I play Call of Duty, because I do like to be the one who uh, flies behind the enemy and picks up those cru uh, crucial kills when they start coming out of the spawn. I've got a few more gameplays um, on domination that I will be bringing you guys and hopefully you guys will get to see exactly what I mean by uh, the way I play um, but you know it was something different uh, I haven't played that many games of domination because obviously you do need a good team if you ain't got a good team you're not gonna really be able to uh, perform to your best of, of uh, your best of abilities and uh, yeah you know this was something that was pretty awesome for me I was pretty happy because you know I, I kind of joined one of their games previously before this and um, I was actually up against them and I got two uh, two kills on Jen and I got one kill on uh, well the guy who's named as Father Ted 99 uh, but obviously you know that was pretty awesome and then kind of backed out the game and I joined their party and I said to them you know it was me that was there and there was something a connection problem where it kicked, literally kicked us all out of the game which was a pretty upset because it, it did start off well for what well, for them but then it actually enabled me to get in contact with them and say look you know I was I was against you guys there and they invited me into their game and uh, we had a, a really few good games we did I did rage a bit and I did actually get told off by my mom I acted like I didn't hear her but that was <laughs> you know that's just that's just what I do I, I act like I don't really you know um 
thinking I, I didn't hear her but the truth is I did hear her and I just chose not to listen because uh, that's kind of what I do um, I did use waste a lot of my bullets there guys and it kind of does like it does it does show because um, I am only obviously the only time I'm pretty much getting some bullets is if I pick up someone else's gun or if I'm picking uh, actually being able to go ahead and uh, get a lot of the stuff that's going to be crucial in this game uh, the round does end here guys and we pretty much uh, you know, in the second round, a few of the guys did leave, and it will show there, guys, that they did leave here. Um, their whole team pretty much left. The guy um, Massi uh, Massimo seven one six zero, he did pretty awesome, guys. He uh, actually did. Uh, he was only using a knife, which I do kind of, you know, it was pretty shocking to see a guy doing that. But he did get uh, quite a lot of crucial kills there. Um, really effective in the game, especially for the opposition. And uh, we had a bit of trouble kind of trying to get through a door, but. Um, you know, a lot more people did slowly join in their team, which was pretty good, you know. Um, we are happy that uh, they did end up randomly getting a team, and it was quite effective because they just spawned out of nowhere, and they were suddenly behind us, just, you know, coming for those kills. And, you know, it really, really was like, oh, God, what the hell are we going to do? Because, you know, this guy just coming and gets a triple feed straight away. And that was pretty, pretty beast, guys. That was, like, awesome the way he came in, but he took out, obviously, he was on the opposite team. Um... I'm trying to tell you guys more about the gameplay here. There isn't really much I can actually tell you guys about. Obviously, uh, you guys do already know that uh, Nuketown 2025 is back. Uh, it's as bonus now. Uh, you can go on there. You can play the play the maps and uh, really enjoy it again guys I think they listened to us straight away even though they took it off after the double XP weekend there was the triple kill guys and my guardians doing this job perfectly as it always does um, but you know yeah it was a nice little um, you know they did listen to us and they brought it back knowing that a lot of uh, high demand for that map guys and you know we're happy that they brought it back I haven't had time to actually you know, I, I know you guys probably want to see something awesome from that map uh, I know you guys are probably looking forward to seeing me bring something to the table uh, bring something that's gonna be pretty much different for you guys especially on Nuketown because it was one of my favorite maps on the original Black Ops um, but as soon as I get some time, I need to find a good team, get a group of people that are willing to actually just jump onto that. And um, the reason it's a lot more harder now for people to just go ahead and play on Nuketown 2025 is uh, basically because they haven't got, um, they haven't physically got those, uh, you know, random where you can select which game you kind of want to play. You can select obviously in the prefix, but when you jump in there, a lot of people are going to want to do the hard point. A lot of people are going to want to mix and match, do some uh, kill confirmed, and you know, that's uh, pretty, you know, it's pretty annoying because I don't really like that kind of section of the game. I like to be a lot more. Um, you know, up in your face, team deathmatch is uh, a lot, something I really do play, and that's something you guys will see a lot. Kill confirmed was something I actually did a lot in. Um, in Modern Warfare 3 and I'm happy that they brought that game mode into Black Ops uh, Black Ops 2 you know it's something really different it's something that's uh, it works well especially when you've got people that are going straight for the collecting you've got people that are just trying to pick up the kills you know especially if you've got a team you can say look guys you guys are better at being the slayers you lot can run in run into the into the team you know pick up those crucial kills and pick up the tags as you're running along we can have a few people sitting back that are going to get those crucial kills from uh, from distance and uh, obviously leave those tags there it's, as long as we can keep those enemies there we've got the slayers that can run forward and pick up those tags and uh, you need to have a really good team for this guys because especially with uh, especially Especially now, it's uh, done more like setting up obviously with esports, and it's something that is a, a you know is a is a really high demand, guys, because this is a crucial game mode. Um, it's a crucial game. A lot of people love playing it, guys, and um, you know it's one of my favorite games as well. I can't, I'm not gonna lie here, guys. Um, you know I'm really loving this game. I know I did a video previously saying. Uh, it sucks and then I said I actually renamed it saying why it's annoying and uh, the reason I say it's annoying is because of all, obviously all these problems that have happened since the beginning of the game but I don't physically hate the game I actually really love this game um, you know I'm loving playing it I'm loving if you've got a good team to play with and uh, you know that's about it guys so thank you for watching um, hope you guys did enjoy this uh, it was awesome I got the match winning kill in that game uh, 47 to 16, four defense and two captures. Pretty awesome. A lot more defending, like you guys said. Uh, like I said, but thank you for watching, guys. My name is Relentless, and I catch you guys with another commentary later on.